Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Saturday, May 18th, 2013, and this is your Zero News update on uh, several projects that I have going on in the lab. First of all, I'm very excited to announce that on Saturday, June 8th, 2013, between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m., yours truly will be driving a Tesla Model S at the Tesla Model S test drive event being held at Natick Mall in Natick, Massachusetts. So hopefully it's a good day uh, and not raining. I will be doing some filming of the event before and after my test drive. And joining me for the test drive will be Jim Dunn, a uh, longtime free energy uh, debunker who is a, a friend of Mark Dancy and who I have been having some uh, dialogue with recently. And uh, Jim lives up in the Massachusetts area. I'll be picking him, him up on my way to Natick Mall for the test drive. And Jim has agreed to be uh, my cameraman, ride shotgun, and be my cameraman in the Tesla Model S as we go for the test drive. I have a full hour with the car, and uh, I'm pretty excited about that. So hopefully I'm able to bring you a nice report on the Tesla Model S and, uh, and have some fun while, while, we're, while we're doing it. In this next photo, you see a picture of the three hemispherical coils that I had previously wound and was uh, mounted on several axes around a spherical neodymium magnet. I have a number of experiments that I'm still going to conduct with these coils. Uh, one of them will be to put the coils back to back and form a complete sphere, as you see in this photograph, and then put them back to back uh, I'm sorry, face to face, if you will, and uh, attempt to replicate the uh, experiments that were shown in the um, primer, primer fields videos by David Lapointe. And uh, I'm wondering if these hemispherical coils will recreate the same type of magnetic field that we saw in those. In this last photo, you see that I've got a, uh, two of the hemispherical coils nested inside of one another, which will then create a multi-layer bifiller hemispherical coil. And I'll be doing some tests and measurements with that as well. Now, one of my, uh, one of my regular YouTube viewers, uh, I'm sorry, Ustream viewers, who are part of what I call my nerd herd, made a really fine coil form for me that I asked him to make. He did this on a CNC out of multi-layer MDF, uh, medium density fiberboard. And uh, what this coil form is going to do for me is allow me to wind the next series of coils that I want to experiment with on the Muller motor as well as the rotating drum design. Uh, I'm really looking forward to, to winding these coils and, and doing some tests with that as well. Uh, Part of the test procedure will be to introduce an electrostatic charge between the coils uh, on either side of the rotating disc to combine the electrostatic and electromagnetic fields that Eric Dollard talks about uh, in many of his lectures. And uh, I kind of have this idea brewing in my head about what I think all of that means and how it might all fit together as part of a um, rotational embodiment that may extract energy from zero point. So uh, that's where I'm trying to go with that. If you haven't been to altenergy.org lately, that's alt-nrg.org. Please visit my website. Uh, I have posted a blog entry regarding uh, some of the recent criticism that I have been taking about my criticism towards the PESN website and Sterling Allen in particular. Um, taking a little bit of heat over that, uh, people are being critical of me being critical of Sterling. However, I believe that Sterling is deserving of it. And I would ask that you go and read my blog entry uh, at altenergy.org. And like Scarecrow says, make up your own damn mind. Uh, and as well, I have a, uh, an audience poll that I would like you to vote in. Um, I would invite as many of Sterling's regular audience to participate in that poll as well to hopefully level the playing field, or will it? I don't know. 
I've asked the questions as unbiasedly as I possibly can. So please visit altenergy.org and vote in my online poll, which basically asks how you feel about PESN's reporting of free energy technologies. Lastly, um, I want to thank everybody who has donated so far to help uh, defray my costs to participate in the Bedini Lindemann conference that is taking place in Idaho between June 28th and June 30th. Thanks to your generous contributions, I have already reserved my flight, I have reserved my hotel room, and sent in the uh, conference, uh, the, the, the payment to attend the conference as well. I still uh, have not rented a car or been able, uh, have enough funds to cover food, but I'm halfway there. I'm being a little bit beyond halfway, halfway towards my goal, and I'm confident that by the time the conference is is here, that I will have met the goal thanks to your generosity. So again, thank you all for for participating. Uh, if you can't, if you haven't yet, I would ask that maybe you throw five or ten dollars into the into the tip jar. Some have been extremely generous and donated as much as $100 a pop. So to those of you guys, like Scarecrow said when, when he uh, mentioned the other night about some of the people who threw $80 at a, at a time into his tip jar, uh, I hope you can afford it, okay? Please do not donate more than you are capable of affording. But if you've got a few extra dollars, uh, it would really help a lot. So I, again... Uh, thank you very much to those of you who have, and I hope those of you who haven't will. And as always, uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope you will. Please share this with your friends, rate my videos, and comment below. All right? Thanks, everyone, for watching. I hope you're enjoying the video series, and as always, peace.